Hey everybody, it's Alchemist 2. Um, I'm going through an awful lot right now and I didn't know what else to say. Uh, I was going to do um, my parody for Human again and you know, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, what's the point? Why bother doing it? I mean, no one even cares, I don't think. I don't know why I'm doing why I'm doing it. it. It just... I don't know if I'm making a difference. I don't know... I I don't have enough viewership to make money. I'm in a financial crisis. <laughs> I got a bill today. And, of course, due to my kindness... You know the story... I'm unable to pay at this point and I'm trying to get help but part of me is trying <clears throat> hold on I'm trying to talk to somebody who wants to be my boyfriend shoot very difficult anyway um try not to get distracted but it just feels like my whole life is spiraling out of control I did not I didn't wish for any of this to happen I was doing my best to get myself back out into the working world I'm I have an excellent work ethic I show up on time I do what I'm asked and I don't know where everything went wrong and just I was excited about Sunday and I'm st I'm st still I don't know if that's my only saving grace right now. I, I just I I took a, a friend of mine home and he um <clears throat> I thought why why do I even I I don't I don't know why I bother sometimes with, with just being kind to people because all I get is crap in return. I get stabbed in the back. I get shafted. I don't understand why this is. I didn't do anything to incur this kind of wrath. I, I go to, to Monday Thursday service and there that one bitch is, excuse me, I shouldn't say that, but there she is just looking at me like... <laughs> yeah, I'm glad your father's dead. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but it would have been nice for you to have shown up at the funeral and have, uh, and given me at least the dignity, or at least given my father the dignity. <clears throat> but, oh no, she's just, she, she has this expression on, I, I'm trying not to be angry about her, but. I shouldn't, I mean, if you have a great, it says in the holy book, yeah, if you have a grievance with your brother or sister, explain that and come to an amends. And this woman, I can't wait to get out of this church, honestly, because as soon as I can just not see her smug little snarky, dumbass face, excuse me. She just makes me angry. Not a lot of things do, but she's one thing that does because, you know, I thought that things would get better after Dad died and that she would have the dignity to say my condolences and did I get one word out of her? Hell no. Excuse me. But it just... She's a jerk. She's a bully. She's a jerk. She um, apparently is compensating for... I don't know if she has insecurity. I have insecurity too. So with pot calling kettle black, right? Sure. My insecurities are different. But uh, it's just... Maybe we're both angry people and we have our reasons to be so. And I'm trying to be happy. It is hard because... Well, I should be because Easter's coming up, right? And it's the holiest time of the year, and I should be celebratory. And 
I get to go to Comic Con that day too, and I'm thinking, why am I not happy about that? And I should be. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I couldn't even find the right wig to wear for that. And I don't even know if people are going to recognize who I am. And then I was thinking, if that's the one highlight of my sad little pathetic life, then. Why am I here? Why am I doing these videos? Why am I even writing? I was really enjoying um, getting out some erotic fantasies that I had done, just writing them down. And that's probably the only way I'm going to actually have anything to do with that in reality. Because there's nobody out here who would love me anyway. Because I'm too picky and I'm too particular and, face it, too smart. Excuse me, I that sounded really conceited. But, I've been having a lot of dark thoughts. And as soon as I get out of this godforsaken town and this godforsaken state, I'll be happier. I mean, even my own hometown rejected me. What's up with that? Who does that? I had all the good intentions in my... I know. I had all the good intentions in my heart to, to make a go out of becoming a library scientist, but... No, that door was shut in my face. And, of course, my dream of becoming a librarian was shot down recently and uh, yeah I'd heard a little bit more than I thought it would but I'm just I'm wondering if I should even make videos anymore this may be my last video for a while part of me I don't know has some very dark thoughts and yeah I have entertained them but a lot of my friends are saying no don't and, like, why would you care so I'll just drag you down. I'll just disappoint you. I'll just fail. Maybe my teachers were per correct. Maybe they were all on to something. Maybe maybe my mother's doctors were on to something and maybe they were wrong too. Because they said, oh, don't expect anything from her until she turns 30. And of course my parents told me that. And, um... know that nobody has any faith in you is including your own family members and, and just going through all that and I'm trying believe me I'm trying maybe I do deserve to be put out in front of a firing squad squad and just I should have been dead a long time ago and that would have done everybody a lot of good I don't know, I, I'm <laughs> probably too much of a gallery to even go through with that, but I'm seriously contemplating it. I'm sorry.